Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, here we go again. Floyd is doing what he does best, playing psychological games with the public and possibly Conor McGregor. But that's a good thing, man. Now, um, apparently, you know, reports that came out that Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather was official when the deal had been worked out. But Floyd Mayweather comes right back within hours and says, no, it's not true. Nothing's official yet. Doesn't it sound familiar? Doesn't it sound like 2015 when Floyd announced he was going to fight Manny Pacquiao? You already know how Floyd is. Floyd wants to be the one who gets to announce everything. That's just how he is. Now, the question is with this fight, if this fight is to happen, would it be under the TMT banner? Would it be under the UFC banner? Would it be some kind of joint promotion? What role will Dana White play in this fight? Because keep in mind, Dana White claims he has an exclusive contract with Conor McGregor where he can't do any outside shit unless it's uh, UFC approved. Now, Nick, Nick Diaz had had a clause in his contract where he could box on the side. So, Nick Diaz, that's a different story. Who knows? You may see Nick Diaz in the uh, square circle because he does have a boxing license. So... Nick Diaz, everybody knows Nick Diaz uh, is a boxer also. Now, to my knowledge, he's never fought professionally as a boxer, but as an MMA fighter, well, we already know, you know, he's established as an MMA fighter. You know, those, him and his brother, they from Stockton, California. So I uh, know about these cats. I know people that know them. So with that being said, let me get back to Conor McGregor. Um... That's, this is the part that's mysterious. Does Dana White hold all the cards when it comes to getting this fight made? Um, I think Dana, Dana White will take some step, step aside money for Floyd Mayweather. That's pretty much probably what he wants. You know, Dana White wants his cut. So, we'll see what happens with this. Now, here's my thing. Will I watch the actual fight if it happens? More than likely. But I'm not going to pay for this shit. I'm not going to pay $60 for this shit or $70, however much they're going to charge for this shit. More than likely, this fight will be $80. You know, because more than likely, these dudes are going to demand huge salaries. So, of course, the fans are going to have to foot the, the bill for this shit. So, we already know how this is going to uh, play out. Now, should this fight be sanctioned as Floyd's 50th fight? That remains to be seen also because, keep in mind, Conor McGregor has never fought professionally as an actual boxer, but he's getting a boxing license, so this will be his debut boxing match, not MMA match. So that's why this would kind of be kind of weak to have this sanctioned as Floyd's 50th fight. Because to be honest with you, I, I got to keep this 100. This will go on Floyd's record as his 50th victory. And I don't know, should you put an asterisk alongside this uh, victory? Should Floyd win this fight? Which I think he will. That's another question. Now, the reason why I do want this fight to happen, why I do want Floyd to beat the shit out of Conor McGregor, because... Nothing would make me happier to see Skip Bayless come on uh, Undisputed the following Monday and make every type of excuse why Floyd won this fight. And also, it would make me happy for all the racists and trolls and just piece of shit people that was talking all that shit. That was saying Conor McGregor would smack Floyd up and all that shit. You know... We already know what happened. Oh, well, why, why, why couldn't it be an MMA fight? Why couldn't Conor McGregor be allowed to kick Floyd? That, that's more fair. You guys knew Flo Floyd was going to outbox him. So, that's one reason why I'm curious about watching this fight. And while more, more than likely I will watch this fight. So, you know, that's my take on the whole thing, man. You know, I just think Floyd wants to be the dude who wants to announce this fight. That's just how Floyd is. He's his own boss. He's his own man. So I give him respect for that. 
you know, I still have my issues with Floyd about the other shit he did. That hasn't changed. But anyway, let me know what you guys think.